Consider the function y equals ax plus b over cx plus d, where a, b, c, d are constants or just numbers, and c is not equal to 0. State the domain of the function. Okay, so we're just going to do the same things we did up, uh, above, except for now instead of numbers, we just have variables or constants. So we're going to say state the domain of the function. Remember that the domain of the function is kind of determined by um, what are the um, asymptotes, right? So let's find the um, let's find the or the vertical asymptotes for this function. Well, remember the way you find a vertical asymptote is you see when the denominator is going to be equal to zero. And so let's just solve for the value of x that makes this zero. So we'll have x equals negative d over c. So this is the horizontal asymptote equation. So it's the horizontal asymptote. And then uh, the domain is going to be equal to uh, everything except for negative d over c. All right. Um, so that's a. And then b, it says state the equation. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the vertical asymptote. It's the vertical asymptote, uh, not the horizontal asymptote. I keep getting confused. Sorry. That's the vertical asymptote. So the vertical asymptote is uh, x equals negative d over c. And the domain of the function would be x is not equal negative d over c. All right, let's go to c. Show that for c is not equal to 0, ax plus b over cx plus d it equals a divided by c plus blah, 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 blah. Hence, determine the equation of the horizontal asymptote. So I'm going to show you first why this is useful before we go through all the trouble of trying to figure this out. So why is it useful to have this expression here, a over c, blah, 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 blah? Um, why is that better than this one? Well, it's just to like try to make it more easy to figure out what the horizontal uh, asymptotes are. And the reason why is because let's say, uh, let's say that you uh, want to find the horizontal asymptote as x becomes uh, a really big positive number. Then you can see that if you put um, positive infinity in for x here, that uh, basically this whole uh, term, this blue term here, it'll go to zero, right? Because like the infinity's in the denominator, so it'll be a, a regular number divided by a huge number, it's going to become zero. So then you can automatically see that the, um, the, the y value is going to go to a over c, right? What if you had x become a really uh, big negative number? Then what happens? Then you're going to have Again, uh, the blue term becomes 0, and y also becomes a over c. Okay, So uh, you can see easily from this form that, uh, that the horizontal asymptote is a over c, and that's why it's kind of useful. Okay, So now that we know why this uh, form is useful, let's try to reverse engineer uh, this form from here. And this is really like... Uh, going to be funky. So um, basically, to do this, we are going to separate out everything a lot. Okay, So we're going to write the ax plus b very far apart, and then we're going to write the denominator like that. And everything's still the same, right? And then the next thing we're going to do is, do you see this minus ad divided by c here? Well, we're going to add that in. How are we going to add it in? We're going to write minus ad divided by c here. We're going to subtract it here, and then we're going to add it here. Okay, so adding it here and subtracting it here, you can tell that basically we're not doing anything. We're adding a total of zero, right? Uh, and then now we're going to do the final step, which is uh, we are going to uh, multiply uh, the ax here by c over c. And if we multiply by c over c, we're multiplying by 1, so we're really not doing anything either. And you're going, man, why are you doing all this weird stuff? You're multiplying by c over c here. You're adding a plus ad over c. You're subtracting a minus ad over c. Basically, all this stuff, we're just adding. We're multiplying by 1. We're adding 0. You're not, you're not uh, doing anything uh, to the equality. Okay? But now you can see that. Now we have, um, we have a ax. Uh, we have a a over c here, and we have a uh, a over c here, and we can factor out the a over c. And if we factor out the a over c, then what we're left with inside is c x 
plus d. And now you can kind of start to see why uh, we put that in. And now here we have the leftover, which is plus b minus a d divided by c. And it's all divided by c x plus d, right? Okay. So now we can see that uh, if we separate it out, we're going to have a over c times c x plus d for the first fraction. And then we're going to have b minus a d over c over c x plus d for the second fraction. And now you can see that, hey, you can cross these out, you can cancel them. And so now you end up exactly with the format that we had here, right? a over c plus b minus a d over c divided by cx plus d, which is the format that's convenient to figure out horizontal asymptotes only. Okay? That's it.